Hello, clinicians. Today, we're diving into a powerful peptide that's making waves in medicine, CMAX. Whether you're focused on cognitive enhancement, neuroprotection, or even pain management, this peptide has something unique to offer. Let's break it down so you can integrate it effectively into your clinical practice. CMAX has shown remarkable versatility and clinical promise across a range of conditions. Here are its primary indications. Cognitive enhancement and memory improvement, managing anxiety and depression, supporting recovery from ischemic stroke and brain injuries, assisting patients with ADHD, providing neuroprotection in neurodegenerative diseases, addressing optic nerve disorders and chronic fatigue syndrome, and even in pain management. It's a tool that can be a game changer for many patients. Now let's talk mechanisms, because understanding the how is critical for us as clinicians. CMAX works through several pathways. It increases brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF, which supports neuronal growth and protection. It modulates dopaminergic and serotonergic systems to enhance mood regulation and cognitive function. It improves cerebral blood flow, essential for brain recovery. Its antioxidant properties protect neural cells from oxidative stress and inflammation. CMAX binds to melanocortin receptors, likely as an antagonist or partial agonist, giving it additional neuroregulatory effects. Finally, it inhibits enkephalinase enzymes, prolonging the effects of natural regulatory peptides. These combined actions make it a multifaceted therapeutic agent. CMAX is a synthetic heptapeptide derived from ACTH with the sequence met glue his fee pro gly pro. Molecular weight 861.98 grams per mole. Empirical formula C39H55N9O10S. This unique structure contributes to its stability and effectiveness as a nootropic and neuroprotective agent. Before starting therapy, baseline assessments are crucial. Recommended tests include CBC, CMP, thyroid function tests, and cortisol levels. If available, neurotransmitter levels and baseline BDNF measurements. During therapy, monitor BDNF levels, cognitive function, and general health with periodic lab tests. After therapy, repeat baseline tests and reassess the patient's cognitive and emotional improvements. CMAX can be administered nasally or via subcutaneous injection. For nasal spray, start with 300 micrograms daily, with a maintenance range of 300 to 1,000 micrograms. For some patients, doses up to 3,000 micrograms may be appropriate. For subcutaneous injections, start at 100 to 200 micrograms daily and maintain at 200 to 500 micrograms. Doses can go up to 1,000 micrograms if needed. Treatment duration is typically 10 to 14 days, but can be repeated based on individual response. Always adjust dosages with careful monitoring. CMAX is generally well tolerated. However, some patients might experience mild nasal irritation, headaches, restlessness, or slight anticoagulant effects. Use caution in patients with severe psychiatric disorders, particularly bipolar disorder and it's not recommended for pregnant or breastfeeding women due to limited safety data. This isn't just anecdotal. CMAX's efficacy is backed by robust research, studies on its role in ischemic stroke recovery and cognitive function, research into its impact on BDNF and neurotransmitter regulation, evidence of its neuroprotective and nootropic effects in rodent models. The references are extensive and I encourage you to dive into them for more detail. So there you have it. A comprehensive look at CMAX from its indications and mechanisms to dosage and safety considerations. If you're ready to incorporate this peptide into your practice, start with careful testing, track your patient outcomes, and always adjust therapy as needed. This is Adam Sewell, MD, empowering you to elevate your clinical practice. See you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below with your questions or experiences using CMAX. Let's keep the conversation going.